Hi there, welcome to BA Consulting Pro. This is another episode of Power BI Daily Life Challenges where I'm gonna solve your problem. In this episode, we are gonna solve a visualization problem. Recently, one of our viewers asked us that how we can create this special kind of visualization or the chart where he wants to have a separate measures inside that particular visualization. What is it exactly that you can see on my screen that you can see ideally we generate this kind of visualization or the chart you can see over here but he wanted to have something like this. How I did it? What sort of measures and tables I have created? I'm gonna show you in this quick video. So if you would like to know please stay tuned with me till the end of this video and I'm gonna let you know everything about it. First of all, if you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon so that you always stay updated with our latest content. Now let's head over to my this Power BI desktop over here. I have some of the HR data data over here. You can see that there are certain columns where the data is lying around. It's just a single table. Apart from that, I have also created one date table, which is over here. You can see that the date table is over here and then there are one table where I have created all my measures. So if I'm going to click over here, you would see these are the all the measures. For example, all employees, then I have end count, end head count, net, start head count, etc. So these are my all the measures that we are going to use for this one. Now, whenever you are creating by default something like this, like if I'm coming over here and I just started drag and drop over here, let's suppose my net then I have my started headcount, all employees, etc. And then I can change this visualization type over here to this one. So it's going to appear something like this, but this is not what the user wanted to have it in their report. They would like to have a separate dedicated uh, bar chart over here for each category or the measures, which is not possible if you are going to do by default what Power BI offers you. So what you have to do? First of all, what I did, I created a disconnected table. Go to this home page and here is the enter data. Now you can give it a name, for example, category. And here I can write what I really want to like attrition, total employees, and also net. Anything you would like to mention over here, you have to give it over here. Then you have to simply load this table so it's going to be your disconnected table inside your data model and why we are calling it a disconnected table because this table is not going to have any relationship with any other table so here you can see that i have created this category table and here i have this total employees net and end headcount that's what i have and this was what the requirement for the user you can change them you can name any category that you would like to create over there now the second step would be to create your measures or define your measures if you haven't already but here you can see that all employees and head count and net i have already three measures defined after that what you have to do you have to create one more measure and i'm going to show you how you can create it basically you have to use the switch statement over here that's going to help you to create it what we are going to go and do over here, we are going to create a new measure and I'm going to call it cat measure or category measure. You can call it with any name you would like to measure and please try to not use the keyword. Otherwise you are going to get this kind of bluish icon. But if you would like to do that, you can also do that. Now, just to avoid this one, I'm using underscore, but please do remember whenever you are creating any measures in Microsoft Power BI, that should be very easy to understand by the end user. So make them like your business users can understand them. Over here, I'm gonna write the switch statement. So I'm gonna write switch. And then you have to write true. This is what a switch statement does. Basically, we are trying to use the if else statement or you can also use the switch. Switch usually performs better, but that also depends case to case where switch is going to perform better than the if. So please be mindful of this. You can also check the performance later on. Now, what we are going to say, I'm going to say selected value. 
So if my selected value is going to be one of the category, then display that measure, otherwise display the another measure, something like that. So I'm going to use the selected value. Over here, I'm going to use this table category category. And here, I'm going to start mentioning my categories over there. Make sure that these names are going to match exactly. Otherwise, these are not going to work. So let me just write and add count. That's all you need to do. And then you can close this one. So over here, you can simply see that I'm using simple switch statement where I'm checking whenever some value is being selected, which is going to be the category on the X axis. And corresponding to that, the corresponding measure should appear. That's what I'm doing. You can even change these measures over here. It's not going to matter at all. Then you have to just select this one. And it's done. So your cat measure has been created, which is going to be somewhere here. So let's bring it over here. And now you have to bring your categories as well. Now you can see that it's appearing. Now you can change it over here. And you can see that how you can create this kind of chart over here. Now, one thing to be noted that if you need to format it, you can format it. You have to come over here simply uh, under format bar and let me go to the format bar over here and you can start searching if you need to do some of the spacing or the borders. You can come here under the column. I have also created a video on the new formatting options that are available. So if you would like to do that, you can do that. Just try them and play with that. And here you can even change the color of the outer bar. You can increase their width to five or something. And if you think that this color is not good, then you can also change any other color like this. You can also change the spacing over here. So what you have to do in order to change the spacing, you have to simply search here space and then you can do this one. Like you can change the spacing according to what you really need over here. So what do you think guys about it? Do you like it? Are you going to use it? Or you would like to apply in your day to day life? Please do let me know in the comment section. Also, if you are over here for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe this channel. Hit the bell icon. In case you are preparing for PL300 exam or Microsoft Fabric exam or you need any kind of training, please don't forget to connect with us. We are going to provide you all the trainings and very soon we are going to publish the complete data analyst tutorials on our channel so don't forget to join our channel as well till then keep learning and i'm gonna see you in the next video